the INFJ go-to defense mechanism you didn't know about. Defense mechanisms are normal behaviors people use to separate themselves from certain unpleasant events, actions, or even thoughts. These psychological strategies may help people distance themselves from threats or unwanted feelings such as guilt or shame. For INFJs, it's all or nothing for them, and they have several defense mechanisms that you need to know. Hey guys, welcome back to Brainwatched. In this video, we'll be talking about the INFJ's defense mechanisms you probably didn't know about. So clearly, you don't want to miss out on this. But before we begin, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you're always up to date with our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Hypervigilance and INFJ's Overt Perfectionism This disarms the bullies who can hardly pick something to shame you or offend you about. On the negative, the INFJ is totally focused externally and ends with burnout. Denial Denial is a commonly known defense mechanism. Denial can occur when you refuse to accept reality or particular facts. You find yourself blocking external events or circumstances from your mind to not have to deal with the emotional impact. In other words, INFJs try to avoid hurtful feelings or events. The phrase, they are in denial, is commonly understood to mean a person avoids reality despite what may be evident to people around them. Suppressing their opinions It means to suppress the intuition and react logically to what you see. By doing so, the INFJ complies with the social norm of logical thinking of all the organizations and more and minimizes the risk of being exposed as an oddball. Displacement You direct strong emotions and frustrations toward a person or object that does not feel threatening. This allows the INFJ to satisfy an impulse to react, but you do not risk certain consequences. A good example to describe this defense mechanism is getting angry at your spouse or child because you, an INFJ, had a bad day at work or something of the sort. None of these people are the target of your strong emotions, but reacting to them is likely less problematic than responding to your boss. Self-isolation The problem with this is that sooner or later the INFJ has to spend more time with certain people, and then the discomfort starts. Not having flexible defense beyond removing yourself from the situation is not good protection for your sensitivity long term. Undoing Undoing is an INFJ's attempt to take back an unconscious behavior or thought that is unacceptable or hurtful. By undoing the prior action, an INFJ attempts to counteract the damage done by the original comment, hoping the two will balance one another out. For example, after realizing you just insulted your significant other unintentionally, you might spend the next hour praising their beauty, charm, as well as their intellect. Using their intuition The sensation about people can be used to act accordingly and signal when to play it tough and how tough. The INFJ focuses too much externally and loses the internal guiding force. Regression Regression in an INFJ is the reversion to an earlier stage of development in the face of unacceptable thoughts or impulses. For example, an INFJ overwhelmed with fear and anger might become clingy or needy. An adult INFJ may regress when under a great deal of stress, refusing to leave their bed and engage in normal day-to-day -day activities. Assertiveness Assertiveness is the emphasis on an INFJ's needs or thoughts in a respectful, direct, and firm manner. Communication styles exist on a continuum, going from passive to aggressive, with assertiveness falling neatly in between. INFJs who are passive and communicate passively tend to be good listeners but barely speak up for themselves or their own needs in a relationship. Assertive people strike a balance where they speak up for themselves, express their opinions or needs in a respectful yet firm manner, and listen when an INFJ is being spoken to. Becoming more assertive INFJs is one of the most desired communication skills and helpful defense mechanisms most people want to learn and benefit from. Well guys, that's all we have for you for today. Did you know about these defense mechanisms INFJs have? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be kept up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.